welcome back to my channel. So today I have gone a bit mad. I'm just back from the Primark store here in London and I have bought every single perfume they sell. I have them all laid out here. I don't even know how many I have, maybe like 15. So many. So I'm going to give you my first impressions, take you through them all, let you know what I think. I think some of them are supposed to be similar or kind of dupes to um, popular fragrances. So I'll let you know. They're all very, very good prices. So I'll let you know if I think they're worth it. Um, if you are new here, then welcome. We're all about perfumes here. I have hundreds of other videos. Do check them out, all on different perfumes. And if you're a regular but you haven't subscribed, then do hit the subscribe button and show your support. I really appreciate it. So I don't even know where to start, there's so many. So I was intrigued by this one, it's called Pear and White Flower and it's Collection Privé and this was the most expensive, about £8. And I get the impression that this is supposed to be kind of like a Jo Malone style because it kind of looks like they're trying to imitate that kind of style. So let's see see what the bottle looks like i didn't have any testers of course because of covid okay so it's kind of like a jo malone style bottle I, I see where they're coming from here so pear and white flower okay it's very pear-y it's one of the most pear perfumes I've ever smelled i think yeah that's what it smells like it smells like pear and white flower it's fine um it's very light i think this must be an eau de toilette Oh no, it's an eau de parfum. <laughs> it feels like an eau de toilette. Mm. So this is probably meant to be an alternative to Jo Malone's um, English Pear and Freesia. And I have to say, it's kind of similar. It's definitely more pear-y. I find English Pear and Freesia to be more freezery than it is pear-y, whereas this is the other way around, which I personally prefer because I like pears. I can still smell it around me, like I think this is probably going to be okay for lasting, you know, considering it's £8 and not um, £100 or however much Jo Malone is. And I forgot to say actually they're all cruelty free, all the Primark products now, um, all their beauty products, which is good, they all have the cute little rabbit logo on. It says, this is a dreamy fragrance that transports you into a scent garden. Freesia and rose petals amongst ripe pear, white melon with a base of patchouli and amber, creating a feminine and youthful blend. I would say it's feminine and youthful. It's kind of like an English country garden smell. It's morning, it's fresh, it's spring. And I can smell it around me and I only did one spray. So I do think this is quite good. So there was another one in that range. I got it in a smaller size. This smaller size was three pounds, it's a 20 mil. Okay, I can smell it from here. I've not even opened the um, container yet. So this one is called Pink Peony and Tonka Bean. And it says, fresh bouquets outside a florist in the summer. Pink peony, rose petals on a bed of jasmine, soft suede tonka bean for a youthful floral blend. Perfect for a sweet feminine touch of class. So it comes like this. This is good for sort of handbag sprays and stuff. Hmm, this feels kind of fruity and a little bit sort of peppery. This one I'm not so sure about. It, it fades almost immediately on the skin. I get a little bit of tonka bean, but not much else. Yeah, I'm not loving this. This is not really a perfume to me. This is, it's definitely not Eau de Parfum. Gosh, really? Yeah, this, this is not as good as that pear one. I don't like this. And then there was a third one in this collection privé called Luminous Peach and Honeysuckle. So this is in a peachy liquid colour bottle. Wow. Gosh, that's not what I expected at all. So peach, really peachy. And it feels almost vanilla-y. I wonder if it has that in. It says juicy peach, dreamy rose petals, white neroli and fresh mandarin are combined with a warm vanilla bean got it patchouli and spiced amber i don't get any spiced amber i do definitely get vanilla maybe some patchouli and i get the peach and the mandarin i like this this is like this reminds me of the mandarin -y, you know the orange um body shop smell it kind of smells a bit like that yeah i like this it's fun it's fruity this is very much like summer i think holiday fruity smell okay so where shall i go next 
So this, I think, was the second most expensive at £7. This is called Midnight Silk from Fragrance Society. It says, a blooming bouquet of rose, hibiscus and orange blossom combined with sweet mandarin, patchouli and white musk for the perfect modern twist on a classic floral blend. These all appear to be made in Spain, by the way. Okay, so then let's try... Ooh, I like the bottle. It's like a suede softy feel. Interesting. Okay, let's try this. Oh, ooh. Okay, interesting bottle. Quite heavy, it's very weighty. I think this is kind of like the white musk from the body shop, hence probably the purple color. I get a little bit of some floral smells, um, but it's quite musky, it's a light musk though. So if you like that body shop one, then you'll probably like this. Um, I wouldn't say it was a midnight silk. I'd say this was like, it's almost coming out now like a clean cotton smell. Um, yeah, not that mad about that one. And then another one in this Fragrance Society range is Floral Suede. Again, this was £7. This is a perfect everyday scent, a fresh blend of Neroli, Bergamot and Orange Blossom with creamy almond, tonka bean and cedar wood. Ooh, this sounds good. Let's see. Again, it's got this nice packaging feel. This is a kind of blush pink colour liquid. I definitely get Neroli and Orange Blossom. It's that kind of light citrus. I don't get almond or tonka bean. I basically get bergamot and Orange Blossom, Neroli. It's all of that, which is which is lovely. Those are lovely fresh citrus scent. This is very light. This would be nice as a sort of light morning perfume for hot weather. Um, fresh citrusy Orange Blossom. Yeah, it's all right. So next most um, expensive was this Pink Blossom. This one it says made in France and um, the others were all made in Spain and this was six pounds. This says a truly addictive fragrance with a bullet burst of peach and orange flower on a bed of warm milk with a hint of feminine musk. Ooh, look how fancy this bottle is. It's got a fancy, fancy bottle. Mmm, hello Primark. Oh, Miss Primark. Okay, let's try it. God, that reminds me of something. It could we, I think it could be Ralph Lauren. Ralph by Ralph Lauren. Uh, this is a very nice everyday smell. It says peach and orange flower. Yeah, I get that orange flower and a bit of peach. This is a nice, this is like a generic, pretty, simple, feminine smell. Yeah, it's nice, slightly sweet. This is fine. This is you know, I'm not overwhelmed, but for six pounds or however much this was, then you can't really go wrong. So yeah, this one, if you want something that you can just throw on for work or in the car or in your handbag, whatever, I think this is probably the most sort of nice generic feminine smell one. Okay, I've then got these two, um, Love Pretty Pink and Love Exposed. So let's try Pretty Pink first. Okay, so this comes in a little bottle like that. So this one says bergamot with rose and a bit of sweet vanilla and patchouli. Ooh. Oh, don't, I hate it. It smells like hairspray. It smells exactly like hairspray. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Okay, no. Unless you want to smell like hairspray, that's a no. Let's try it exposed. See what an exposed hairspray smells like. <laughs> Okay, this is a bit more normal smelling. It smells like a perfume. Let me see what it says. Fruity blend of bitter orange, raspberry, on jasmine and honey. I definitely get the jasmine. This is okay. It's a simple everyday jasmine. It's a, yeah, it's, 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 it's a jasmine smell. <laughs> I was going to say it's not a very classy jasmine. It's more like an everyday jasmine, um, but this one passes the test. This is fine. You could wear this for three fifty. You could wear that. Okay, there's plenty more coming, guys. Okay, so next we have these three ones that come in this kind of candy stripe color. We have peach bouquet, wild azalea, and soft rose. 
Um, so let's start with Soft Rose. It says a feminine rose <laughs> fragrance with fresh top notes of citrus, a heart of peach and a rich base notes of musk, cedar and patchouli. There's a lot of peach in these Primark fragrances. I wonder if peach is a very affordable fragrance note because I assume when they're making these they'll go off like affordability to get the prices so low. So I, this is probably my favourite packaging. It's kind of, this one kind of like a Victoria's Secret one, isn't it? This pink stripe. Ooh, and it has the fanciest bottle as well. Look at this bottle. It's got a velvet bow, it's pink. Doesn't say Primark on it, so no one would ever know. Okay, so far I'm impressed. And these are made in China. Yep, so this smells like rose, smells exactly like rose. This is probably an alternative to your sort of misty or rose and roses, which is like, however much it is, 60 quid, and this was, what, five? Five pounds? Yeah, it's a simple, it's slightly green rose, but it is a rose, it's light. So if you like roses, then this could be a good affordable option and nice packaging. Okay, let's try Peach Bouquet. This one says, a modern, powerful fragrance with top notes of blood orange, a gourmet, it says gourmet heart of probably means gourmand, of honey and gardenia and deep woody earthy undertones and a base of patchouli. So let's see. Okay, so this is the same packaging, but it's orange or peach colored. Okay, so this is quite powdery. It kind of smells like a peach talcum powder. Is that what that smells like? It's okay. It's clean smelling. It's okay. I don't hate it i don't love it okay let's try wild azalea this one says a warm fruity fragrance with a sweet powdery base of patchouli vanilla and tonka bean sharpened out by the fresh citrus top notes of pear and black currant Ooh, black currant my favorite so surprise surprise this is the same bottle but in green yeah this definitely has the black currant note in it this is a this is good if you like black currant this is good if you like uh, Montpari YSL, if you like Jimmy Choo, I think you'd like this. Um, it, it throws me because it's green, which makes me think it's going to be like a green outdoorsy fragrance. But this is a fruity black currant. Yeah, this one's all right. This one's okay. <laughs> okay, so there was then these two little ones I picked up called Warm Coral and Opal Crush. These were two pounds. Okay, so warm coral is kind of a bit tropical. It's quite fresh. It's um, it kind of reminds me of a hibiscus. Um, I, this is nice for during the day. This is a kind of, yeah, um, and maybe, yeah, this is a tropical island smell. I guess that's the name, coral. Um, but nice, fresh, daytime smell. Okay, and now opal crush. So this is nice. This is a bit more sexy. I think this must have tonka bean in. I can smell that doesn't say what's in it but that's what I can smell this is probably one of the best here of this range this is kind of like a dupe of uh, what's well, similar to sort of Jimmy Choo fever black opium that kind of thing if you're looking for something to take on a night out um, then this this one opal crush is the most like sexy nighttime one of all of these we've tried so far yeah I think it must have vanilla in I think it's got um, yeah this is good this is kind of like a going out Zara type fragrance and then lastly there were these four little mini ones here desert rose sweet kiss true love and soft blush so these were all two pounds so let's try sweet kiss seems as looks like somebody's tried to open oh already opened it yeah okay so that basically has no smell super super light sweet kiss skip that one I think not much going on there let's try this yellow one uh, called true love oh oh I hate it oh my god it smells like paint stripper it's like horrible Ew, it smells like glue or something that you'd use in a DIY oh th this yellow one is awful I'm not impressed with these little ones, am I? Not at all. Okay, this is the Desert Rose. Okay, this is okay. I think this is Jasmine. It's a bit like Jasmine Toilet Cleaner, though. Not loving these little ones. Okay, last but by no means least, we have Soft Blush. So this is nice. 
this is like a fresh peony simple nice the pink one yeah definitely the nicest one okay so that's all of them um overall impressions are most of them are not great and aren't particularly strong either so i am not that impressed with primark perfumes but for the price then what, what more could i expect the ones that i rate the most this opal crush would be good as like a party clubbing you know bar whatever nighttime fragrance it's quite sexy i thought this pink blossom was okay as a generic pretty fragrance i like this green one because it had black currants in but i do think this pear and white flower is the best it is like a kind of Jo Malone it's got lots of that pear in I can still very much smell it on me it does smell similar to English pear and freesia it doesn't smell the same it smells similar it's more pear-y this is definitely the best one and I guess that's why it was the most expensive at, was it nine pounds because it is best so those are the ones that I picked up. I spent a lot of money buying all those. I don't know what I'm going to do with them now. Um, I could give them away as a giveaway. I don't know if anyone would want them. Let me know in the comments if you'd want them. I could only ship to the UK though because we know that um, you can't ship perfumes internationally now. It's illegal or whatever. Um, but yeah, that's it guys. Let me know if you shop at Primark. Do you buy any of these? Which do you like? Let me know in the comments what you think. And I hope you found this helpful or useful if you are thinking about getting any of the um, Primark fragrances. But that's it guys. So thanks so much for watching as always. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.